Hello everyone, welcome to our brand new series on Salesforce. In this video, we are going to learn how to get free Salesforce account. We are going to cover what is Salesforce and there are two ways of accessing free Salesforce account. One is by registering on the trial account and another one is by registering on the developer edition account. So we are going to see both the ways and if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. With these words, let's get started. What is Salesforce? Salesforce is a cloud-based customer relationship management company that helps businesses to manage their everyday activities effectively and efficiently. It allows companies to create and maintain healthy relationship with the customers. These are the services provided by the Salesforce. It provides services related to sales, market, analytics, community, commerce, etc. And these are the list of few popular companies that uses Salesforce to conduct their activities. So we have HP, then Amazon, AWS, Hershey's, American Express, etc. Now let's go ahead and see how we can register on the trial account for the Salesforce. Before we go ahead and do that, let's read this thing. So in order to register, we do not require a credit card information and you don't have to install any software on your device because everything will be on the web. So with trial account, you will get a preloaded data pre-configured process reports and dashboards, guided contents. So all these things will be available so that you can perform hands-on activity on the data. The thought behind providing the trial version is if you are an entrepreneur and you are looking for a CRM software for your company and before investing into a company, you just wanted to know if that will solve your purpose or not. So you can log on to your free trial version of uh, Salesforce and you can test it out. If it works for you, then you can go ahead and purchase the product. Log on to salesforce.com. The interface of the Salesforce varies from the region or the country. So in your country, it, the interface may look different. So next is you will see a try for free green button over here. In case if you are not seeing that, then just click on the login over here and select Salesforce from there. Now here you will see this option which says try for free or you may also see this option which says start my free trial. You can click on any of these buttons. So I just click on this one. Now here it will ask for my first name, last name and job title. In case if you are not seeing the same interface, then please don't worry about it. But it will ask for the same information that I am going to fill in over here. So after that, I'll, I'll just click on next. It will ask me to select the range of employees. So I can just select the first one. It will ask for my company and then it will ask for my country. If you have selected United States, then it might ask you to fill the states separately. So there will be another prompt that will ask for the states. After that, click on next. You have to mention your phone number and your email ID. Now I just click on after providing email ID, you have to click on this checkbox which says I agree the main services and then click on submit. After submitting, you have to go to your email address. So now you will see an email like this one. This could take some time to come up. And uh, one more thing, if you are registering with the same email address multiple times, then also it will work. So uh, after clicking on this, you can see over here, there is a URL from where I can just access my account. And this is the username. Now click on the verify account button. So it may ask you to verify your email address. So you can just simply go to your email account and there you will see a verification code. So just let me check. Now here it is. I just need to provide that code over here. After that, you have to create your new password. So let me go ahead and create a password. It should uh, meet these standards. So like it should have eight characters, one letter and one number. Click on change password. Now you have successfully logged in into a trial account of Salesforce. So this is how the interface looked like. So you can just click on skip for now over here or you can just learn it. So right now we are logged in into a sales application and this is the app launcher. You can click on view all to view all the apps mentioned over here. You can see the reports from here. Dashboard is also mentioned. You can share the dashboard. Now this is how you can access the uh, Salesforce account. So right now it is showing uh, days left 14. In some countries it also provides 30 days of uh, trial version. So with this, we have learned how to create a free trial account in Salesforce. Now let's go ahead and learn how to register on developer edition. So developer edition is something for the developers. If you are a developer, then you can just go ahead and access this one. It is completely free of cost. 
although it has some limitations like uh, there were limitations for trial version as well but uh, it will work perfectly for the developers so these are the things that you will be getting in the uh, developer edition accounts so build app fast and drag and drop tools are available customize your data model with clicks go further with apex code so you can either write a code or you can just do simple drag and drop things integrate with anything using powerful APIs, stay protected with enterprise grade security. So all these things you are going to get with this developer edition. To access developer account, go to the developer.salesforce.com. From there, click on sign up. And here you have to fill all the information. So first name is Pineet. You have to mention your email address, your job role, mention the name of a company, select your country or re region. If you will select United States, you might have to provide the information of uh, your current state as well and then you have to mention your postal code last is we have to provide the username if the username is available then only we will be able to use that so let me type beneath at ts info and let me go ahead and try to sign up since the username is not available so that's why we have i have to enter some other username over here okay so this is acceptable so i'll just type my name at the rate the name of my company and then dot com click on sign me up now once done you will see this kind of uh, page which will ask you to go to your email address to confirm the email so i'll just jump into my email address now here you can see this email i can just click on it and after that i have to click on this verify account this is the url from which i can access this account and this is the username so i just click on uh, verify account now i have to create a new password for my account now once done just click on change password now the same password can be used to access this account so this is how the interface for developer account looks like this is same as the regular one so from here you can access the de developer console you can write your epic code from uh, over here other than that you can access the apps from the app launcher so let's go and check the sales Developer account also provides a dummy data with it so that you can go ahead and learn it. So here we have a lot of data over here. So I can just go to the reports and from folders, I can just see the reports that is already created. So all these things can be done. If you are a beginner and you want to learn the Salesforce, then I would suggest to register on the developer account instead of a trial account because on, in trial account, we have few uh, limited things like you won't be able to share your reports over there. You There are few more limitations there, but in developer console, you can do a lot of things. So with this, we have covered how to register on developer edition account. And this is the end of this session. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. We have videos on various technologies also there is a suggestion for salesforce videos on the screen you can just click on them and you can watch them as well thank you for watching have a great day bye